seems to be working. Although, for some reason, I can't edit the game. Which won't let me edit. What game I'm playing, which is kind of annoying. Oh well. We will not worry about that then. I had problems with my G13 not uh, configuring right. Which is also kind of annoying. The sounds and smells of the busy tavern drift in from the next room. Perhaps Roderick Nettle won't cause a scene if you ask him a few discreet questions in a public place. Set up here. So I'm just warming up. Uh, do some snitch. crashers to warm up. I didn't say anything in particular that I wanted to do in the Alifounds, so I'm not going to worry about those at the moment. I don't really want to keep gear at every level. But I may have to figure out something for uh, to slot run speed in somewhere. Or finally run uh, Abbott and get lucky and pull in Quiver. Which I'm also okay with. But I need to find a group for that. I've never done Abbott before, there's no way I'm going to try to solo it. That'd be a bit much. Uh, I do want to make it to 27 tonight, though. That would be nice. Not anywhere for New Year's Eve. Uh, SO has to work at 3 a.m. Puts kind of a damper on any plans going out. We're drinking very much, so none of that happening. If you could lower one of the nearby rooms, so just went to bed. To climb up on the As you turn the valve, you hear a metallic. In the distance. Uh, can I avoid getting hit by anybody today? Yes, I can. How about that? Nope. I, as soon as I said that, of course. Those rats are fast. earlier. Finally remember to get that skill town going before move silently. Um, did a couple others that I was missing. Used up all but one of my last uh, mm. anniversary card. Tomes. Skill town things. I still have some stat tomes hanging around, but a lot of skill tomes now. As you open the valve, 
The muffled sound of gears turning can be heard from the water below. <laughs> the rats actually came into the water. That's amusing. I don't remember that happening. Quite like that before. Seems my voice is a little hoarse for some reason. Not sure what's going on with that. Let's see if we drink some extra water here after this quest is done. Quieter, more Let's see if that'll smooth it out a bit. Peacefully in the sunshine below. If you're careful, you can catch up to Roderick Nettle and still let sleeping dogs lie. It's worth sneaking past that for an extra 1k XP. I do believe. On my own channel tonight, I'm not on DDO stream, so I'm not using OBS, so I don't have any of the overlays or anything here. Just uh, straight gameplay. Which is also nice, but you know, kind of miss having the overlays and be able to have that stuff going. Do some different stuff with those. Probably go ahead and run the druids chain. Well, Roderick Nettle's familiar giggle. Unless I can find a whiskey spies. It's time to deal with normal. him once and for all. I don't think I'm on timer for anything, so I could do a Vaughn as well. Just bounce him back off on and off. Trying to get some stuff working. So mm -hmm. don't quite have everything set up, but I do want to get the streaming started. So I had some feedback from yesterday's stream. Uh, people enjoyed it yesterday, so I'm glad for that. I'm trying to be entertaining. I know Shroud, the way for Shrouds to fill could be a little uneventful, so I'm glad people stuck with it and were able to watch all of that. So, under 7 minute run, not my best. Mostly due to the run speed issue. Somewhere in this grind, I'll fix that. I have been using a speed ring, but when I got the ring in the gin, it seems to be more useful in a lot of ways. But I might have to give it up unless I'm in something like Flesh Makers. is different than outside. As if you were transported into the deep jungles of Zendra. As with anything, with the marks in Shanky's shadow, the illusions Actually, around you disappear. The way deeper into the illusion is. Let's go over here and do another clicky here. Get that run speed back. Clicky over here, because I don't the have suddenly shifts from a fear block. And then I'll get a it shield is one as well. Teleported leagues away. No, I don't need the shield yet. I need that till I get basically to the end. Yeah, I'm centered and I'm in the right stance, so that looks good. These archers have signal crystals. Cool things on do things slightly differently on my next reincarnation. With House B. Arlen, one. Since I'm not in the rest of Storm Reach through the skylights above, I'm in Fury, not a Grandmaster. Probably not take anything. The illumination comes from phosphorescent mushrooms. Takes down my reflex saves. I think that's a dwarf in uh, enhancement. That uh, gives me health. Expensive reflex. Child of the Mountain, maybe? I don't think I'll do that. The extra health is nice, but I'm getting more health from my uh, the past lives now. They must be oh, the real 
thing before the giant. Don't believe so. The marks of shadow around this chamber are restoring the illusionary giant's heaven. I was able to do that. It doesn't look like he should be. Button step and playing speed. But you still need oh well. to enter the chapter and stop the malicious. Didn't change the result. Attack. Welcome, thanks for watching. Glad to have you. Don't have anything particular in mind tonight, just doing whatever. The Fialan Chapter House must have been closed as a precaution during the Grand Gala. The ballroom is on the far side of the Chapter House, and it seems rather unlikely that house next to the security Thunderhome Slayer is kind of dragon mark of shadow is embedded into the wall. If it were to activate, Need to see. you would not be able to destroy it as you did with the mark. I know I got some auctions for some scales earlier. The but I did not check my ingots, for elite patrons. so I don't know if I have enough ingots like to actually make anything. During the Grand Gala. Oh, that's right, this is about the spot where Expedition Retreat wears out. Being a caster comes in handy for some of this utility stuff. What do you want, cat? Why are you looking at me like that? I don't know why it still says playing that. I think I have the auto detection on, maybe? From the uh, in this Shadow Play? Don't appear to be oh, cat. The ones in the illusion area. It's a variety. Get off my lap, cat. There you go. That's better. It's overriding the manual setting through Twitch, I would guess. I'll have to turn that off, because that's really not what I want. I want it to actually be sh showing Dungeons & Dragons Online is what I'm playing. You finally reached the that's House of okay, Arlen Grand God. Now to find the guest list and add Cyan's name.
Doesn't hurt anything for the, the moment. The body guest here seems like a harmless old elf, but that facade does not fool you. You easily see through to the malicious teething underneath. Not using official launcher. Not using the Steam version because he uses the official launcher. I thought that Shadow Play. Yeah, Wiseman, I'm uh, in a guild. The guild I'm in is, uh, I think we're small right now, and most of the players are in the UK. So, a lot of times they are either not playing, sleeping, or are doing other quests at other levels. If I was in a larger guild, I'd probably have more guildmates to run with. You'd see me running more parties that way. Um, I do have some u videos up on YouTube of me running with uh, guildmates. Um, some of them don't care to be recorded. Well, they don't care if the recordings be made public, let's put it that way, or streamed. So I don't uh, stream all the guild stuff, but there are some guild things up on YouTube. Oh, that's right, he's back. I need to ask him about that video. I want to post the video of uh, us doing ADQ2 and uh, where the SO's druid wolf pet uh, saved the day. Because that's amusing. But one of the particular people that uh, doesn't like streaming is was in that one, so I have to ask. I can share that one. And that person was out for a while. So, um, so oh, I do have some comms I didn't put back yet. Yeah, my guild is the frag course. Almost. Oh, wow, we're really close to 78 right now. I didn't realize we were so close. I might be able to get 78 tonight. Very low key killed. No real time commitments or anything. Um, when ESO and I were out, not playing for almost two years, I think, they didn't boot all our characters. They booted some of them, but not all of them. Just because they didn't know whose was whose, we didn't have a list up. But once they logged back in, they're like, oh yeah, hey, bring all your characters back, we're fine. Just didn't know who was who. We're trying to get back to the core kind of thing. That really had been a year and a half, so... No blaming there. I've been in other guilds where I get kicked out after a month or less. If I didn't play for a while. Or didn't pre-clear it with somebody. Not playing for a while. Yep, that also happens. I know there's a plugin for OBS to help deal with, to help manage that, where it's something about um, if somebody is streaming recording, then there an R appears next to their name so people know, and then they can be a, the people who don't want to be recorded can be a separate channel kind of thing. Oh. Yeah, I understand people. Uh, people's requests for privacy, and I respect that, so... Normally I am that way, um, but I like streaming. I, th I think it's fun and interesting. I like interacting with people. Oh, hey, look! I Upgrade tome. Too bad it's plus three and not plus four and it's charisma. I might find a use for that. I like tomes, except storing them is a pain. So yeah, I understand that. Um, 
That's why I try to be respectful of my guildmates that don't want to do that. I still record, because um, I like having a recording of what happened. We can go back later and watch, but they're set to... Um, so nobody, they're not listed, so nobody can see them unless they know where they are. I post them on our private section of our guild forums, so... People seem to be okay with that. They feel it's secure enough that, uh... I've taken reasonable precautions, I mean, you know, it's not secure, secure, but... Reasonable precautions have been taken. Um, actually, I'm just going to go ahead and go out to Evening Star. Nothing's happening. I'm trying to think. I don't know if there's a way you can still have team speak communication without the audio coming through your stream. That seems like a. There should be a way to do that, but I don't know. Yeah, um, I've put this uh, in my bio, smile, I am streaming recording, and then put my Twitch URL and then the uh, DDS stream URL, and uh, I call it good. Yeah, it's what, uh, one reason I don't normally have, um, especially on DDS stream, where um, it's a little more official. I try to keep party chat, uh, the text chat hidden, and the voice chat off most of the time. Unless I absolutely need it. And a lot of times when I join a party, I'll type in party chat, hey, I'm streaming, or hey, you're live on DDO stream kind of thing. Um, sometimes I forget to do that get caught up in whatever I'm doing and forget that, but a lot of times I'll, I'll do that, just so people are aware of what's going on. And sometimes it leads to questions, sometimes that leads to peop more people watching, so that's a good thing. The head priest stands across the room. Uh, I'm surprised at what people talk to talk about in party chat sometimes when it's a pug. I don't know them. Why are you saying this stuff? I know you're saying it to each other, but uh, there are other people in here. You don't know if they're recording, like I am most of the time. I should say most of the time, but sometimes. Yeah, that's a good idea. I don't generally start too many groups when I'm streaming. I don't generally start too many groups, period. Um, occasionally, if there's something I want to run and don't want to solo, or... Like I might, if there isn't a Vaughn going here shortly, I might put one up for Vaughn, but then I'll... I don't like getting stuck in voice hearing, because I really don't like doing that part, so. Yeah. If I have to, we'll do it. I'd much rather join other people's parties doing that. Rather other people have the headache of uh, managing party and such. It's not that difficult, it just distracts me. I'm already streaming and I'm uh, already trying to do the quest. Adding in, trying to manage the party at the same time just seems a little bit much. Sometimes, sometimes I feel like I'm doing something. Yeah. Bursts through the door. 
happened to have my expedition sheet already on, which I forgot to do. Blah. I forget that way too often. Well, it's because it, I just switched not too long ago. Not even a week ago. It's not used to I got used to not having to worry about it. Now I'm trying to get used to having to do it again. The other thing I forgot, which I'm going to fear this time. I hate wisps. They're so annoying. They really are. Three minutes, 24 seconds. If I had had my expedition street, that would have been a pretty good run. That's a long time to be in there before the wipe got it. And a 30 minute run sounds a lot better, yeah. I have not done that raid yet. I have watched videos, but I have not actually done it. I saw the pugs up for it last night, but uh, we were doing Shroud, and then I didn't want to do any more raids on stream. I was starting to slow down. That's not the time to start trying any raid, especially on E. I don't remember if it was E or what, but I'd rather start E and just see how it goes. Or if it, nobody cares, I'll do an E for the XP boost. That's fine, but I'm not going to contribute or learn anything out of it, probably. I don't like As you enter playing that way most of the time. Occasionally, I don't mind just to get something done. Like that E.E. E. Haunted Halls to get the uh, Harper favored. I didn't care, I just wanted the favor. I put that in the LFM. I, I ran that LFM, but somebody else actually ran the quest. Yeah. I mean, for that particular one, uh, I can see people joining for favor. Because that's the one that's epic only, isn't it? It doesn't have a heroic. So in that case, yeah. Okay, well, that makes sense. Join E just because you want to get the favor knocked off, which, you know, like I said, I wouldn't mind doing at some point, get the XP boost in the favor since I haven't run it yet. But I would probably check first and say, hey, uh, by the way, or I'd make sure the LFN said something that was, you know, all welcome or something like that before I stepped into it. I don't normally step into this unless there's some indication in the LFM that says it's okay if you haven't done this before. I try not to anyway, just to be courteous to other people. I don't like wasting other people's time if I don't, can avoid it. I don't like wasting my time for that matter. But, you know, my time's mine. I can waste it if I feel like doing something stupid here and there. But I don't like doing that on other people. Something rustles in the deep foliage of the air. A soft whisper will just be seen in the deep. I saw another shroud up earlier. I was looking at I still have some of those uh, great bypass timers from yesterday. Doesn't go give out. Which again, thanks, Blue Guy, for that whole dual shroud and everything yesterday. That was fun. Yeah, that can be fun too if you're used to something and you want to run it a slightly different way. Tired of just sleepwalking through it kind of stuff. It would 
Eh, to a certain extent. There are ways things can go wrong that are amusing and fun, and there are ways that things go wrong that are just frustrating and not fun at all. I think last night's first round run was half and half of that. Um, at first it was kind of funny that, you know, there's all these people, multiple TRs and stuff. People had done the shroud many times, and it was going way more difficult than it should have been. That was funny at first, but then it kept happening, and we just like we couldn't get it together, and that was starting to get frustrating. Oh, yeah. It's more interesting when things go wrong. Not always more fun, I don't think. Danger is an old song in your songbook. I, I do know see. that, like for our Thursday Sadic group, <laughs> yeah, when they first brought out the champions, that that was the first night for them, and we just tri went right into one of our quests like we normally do. We've been walking through them, pretty much sleepwalking, and all of a sudden, oh my god, champions, this is much harder. And that was a good thing, because we actually started thinking and playing differently. We had been, because we'd been pretty much waltzing through everything, sleepwalking, and then it made us start thinking again. Which we all enjoy it, appreciate it. So yes, there is that. Oh, did I miss the tree? I missed the tree, didn't I? One head and whacked her with adrenaline and missed the tree. That's awesome. Yeah, it should not have been that hard last night to get through that phase of Shroud. But people just weren't on the same page on it for some reason. I apologize if you hear me drinking. I am going to trade these or this headset in shortly. The next couple of days, hopefully. Next week. Um, and get something with mute. I like this headset otherwise, but I really need mute. Because for some reason Shadowplay doesn't have a mute feature. I don't understand why that is. It seems to be a necessary feature to me. But oh well, it's still the easiest way to stream. It has that going for it. If you just want to get streaming, it is very simple to do that. Not the OBS is hard, but it's just a lot easier. Yeah, he was... I must say he was getting a little bit touchy about that. I was laughing at that point. Okay, people are getting touchy. This is going wrong. Yep. You have reached oh. the Druid Hall saves Yeah, I don't I understand why that was so difficult on that one. Normally, you don't even need communication. Everybody just knows what to do. They kite. Somebody might say, hey, I'm doing the kiting, or they might call something or other. But usually, everybody just groups them up until they're prepped and then start stringing them out, and they're all drop and we're ready to go. It doesn't take very long. And last night, uh, yeah, that didn't happen at all, that first run. I still think we barely made the... I don't know, was Titan streaming at that point? Because I, I would have liked to see what he saw um, over near the crystal when it actually happened. Because I would be willing to bet somebody was close to being back and rezzed at that point. It seemed like it was a long time between the first and the last one. Keep 
We're going to use adrenaline on the uh, roots here. At the center of this yeah, that's a little faster. Corrupted root walls wither and grow brittle throughout the hollow. Yeah, I think it's beyond me at this point to watch something else while I'm uh, running on DDO stream, particularly. I'm slightly more relaxed on my own channel. Since it's not official and uh, all that. But even then. Uh, I don't really watch anybody else while I'm playing. Uh. Sometimes I wish the L LED had never been invented, because I let all the electronics we own blink all the time, everywhere, and it's distracting. This computer I'm playing on, lovely laptop, love it. Works pretty well most of the time. Has some issues, but what computer doesn't? Um, but the lights on the front of it are just way too bright. Way too bright. And there's the whole keyboard backlight dimming at random intervals for no reason. But I'm not going back to Windows 8 on this, so I'll just deal with it. Corruption is what they're called. And then throughout the hollow. Perhaps now it will be possible to enter hall. Pretty sure it takes too long to find the seeds to make it not worth the extra XP. Same with killing the other druid. Um, I haven't done a real comparison for sure. As in, I haven't taped or uh, recorded and checked the quest time or anything, but it just feels like it would take too long for not much extra XP. Having to go the other route to get the other druid or find all those stupid seeds. I have killed an occasional druid here and there. And what else it takes time is falling down that. If you don't know it's there, or you forget, or you have lag and don't jump right. In. There is a and a yes, yes, we can bear away your turn. I'm getting to kill you in a second. Yes, yes, I am. He is not here. He That's too bad. To druids deep. With that, the last of life passes from her eyes. Yeah, that's the uh, words linger darkly. Good XP per minute on that one. Is cleansed. But while Halsey lives, at least for the stuff that I run. I got chilly here. It's in below freezing, finally. Not way below, but below a bit. Lords of Dust, is it just low? Oh, it's way, way too late for that. Should almost be done with it at this point. So much do I have left? Uh, yeah, I've got five-ish, I think. That's doable in a couple more hours. If I get a Whiz King, double Whiz King, double Spies, that'll be most of it. And Yvonne would finish off most of the rest. I believe. Let's see what we can get. 
I wasn't sure how many people will be playing or watching tonight. Um, yeah, I know it's early still, so there's a chance more people will be on now than later. But they'd have a special request for somebody to be streaming tonight, so. I decided it's a good idea. I still want to get that second day nailed down, but that's going to be probably not until February, the earliest. Oh, did I not hit him enough? Wow. Little mistakes like that. Cost you some time. I want to see speedrun leaderboards in this game. I think that'd be fun. There'd have to be categories or something, uh, and those, how to get those done correctly would probably be most of the work, I would think. Obviously, it ar already saves the time, so that's not a big deal. But, you know, you could start with just the overall leaderboard of speedrun, and you could go to something still fairly simple like getting all the bonuses in the fastest time. And that could be done solo or group or solo with hirelings or things like that. And there's some kind of categories to break it down. And then you go even further and go down by you know, class or class mix Light or gear or levels, all sorts of stuff. That'd be fun too. Yeah, I was thinking primarily uh, speed, but yeah, you're right, there could be other stuff. Gotta be careful with figuring out how to make it work quite right. Yes. It'd be nice if they brought it back and then expanded it. And made a deeper API and stuff so you could actually do some more fun stuff with it. Primarily, as several people have said in the forums, I love a cross-character search. I know I have this piece of gear somewhere. Just let me use my DDO or something to find it. Tell me, okay, it's in your this character's personal bank, this tab, this slot. And hey, then I can go right to it and get it out. I mean, true inventory management would be nice, but there's implications there with security and such. I wouldn't want to be part of that without extensive testing. But, uh, at least some of the basic stuff. Back to you know, the, here's the gear I was wearing. And just expand it slightly. Here's what's in my bank. That would be probably about enough for me. I've seen apps from other games that have some nice features to them that I may or may not use. But basic gear would be nice. Gear and inventory, I should say. I don't need to manage auctions or messages or stuff. I mean, that obviously that'd be nice, but I don't need to manage that. I just need to be able to see it all. Hook around my bag so I can see what I have as far as, like, green steel ingredients without 
having to uh, open the game. And that would be especially handy if you could tie a craft, tie in the API so you have a crafting player that says, okay, here's what you have, here's what you can make. And here's what you need if you want to make this. That would be so awesome. Oh, yes, yes, very true. Quest completions, get difficulty, favor, uh, raid timers, ransacks, all that stuff. I agree. Yeah, start small, back to what it was, and then just expand it slowly. A piece at a time, that'd be a lot of fun. As people were saying they want a new game or a sequel, and I'm quite fun, happy with this as it is. I mean, buggy and all. Obviously, the bugs being fixed would be nice, but we've been playing through them for years. Why not keep going? I think the low barrier entry also helps you get anywhere near a top of the line system to play this game. I think that works in its favor. Say other games they like the look better. I don't really care for the games they like. Other games seem to be too cartoony. And this has this strikes a nice balance, I think. Where's my time on that? Yeah, Six forty-three. It's about all right. Nothing exciting. Yeah, I. I don't. I like that the ransack is available but I don't like the display, the way it displays. And I like the completions and quest completions, ray completions, commands, but, eh. Greyhawk would be neat. I remember reading a lot about Greyhawk way back when. I think they're in a they had a good idea of doing the classic modules like Con Halls and the Temple coming up. That's a good idea to get people's interest. Oh, look, a spy at the end, though. Do they have a trapper? That's oh, 45 minutes in. By the time I get there, eh. I'll wait, hopefully, for uh, another one. I was too dumb to drink the water while I'm here. Yeah, I can see doing a DDO too, but I'm again I'm really pretty much oh, I forgot next was just retreat. Darn it. Alright, ring time. You can see that the well water is dead. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with this game as it is. I still have a lot of stuff to do. I haven't done all the quests yet. I haven't done all the raids yet. I haven't played all the classes very much. Um, played most of the classes a little bit, but... Yeah. All those classic modules I'd love to see. I'm kind of surprised they didn't start with that, in some ways. It just seems to be such a natural fit together. Like that was the reason they made this, right? It was for all the people used to play pen and paper water lies above and beyond this waterfall. for the right target demographic. Yeah, I wonder how those would translate, the though, in-game, those old... To the surface once again. A artifacts like that. Has a magical barrier preventing you from passing further. I know some people would rather have more One PvP in the game. I can't stand PvP. I don't like that at all. So much happier with co-op. That's where some of that stuff comes really important. Balancing gear and such. I do think some other game. Yeah, I would love to fight Team Man. That, that's the big one for me. Remember that battle. Not going very well. But, yeah. Um.
those old the modules are. Area blocking your way dissipates. They're well done. Seems wrong with the dryad in this cave. I need I to get back to Hunt Hall's one of these you lies when I'm up here at Cap and uh, <laughs> check out the commentary and such, which I haven't done yet. You need to. Maybe this time, maybe in a couple more lives, we'll see. Yeah, yeah, trees, I don't care. Oh, do I have to kill the tree? I forgot to kill the tree. There we go. Yeah, I understand to some degree why people complain about the uh, certain things having detrimental effects like potions of wonder and oh, what was it? Colors of the Qu with Tea with the Queen, Colors of the Queen, one of those, something like that, where you have random effects and some of them are bad, some of them are good. But that was the whole thing about magical artifacts in D&D, &D, right? That was, you had to be careful with them. They were powerful. <laughs> you don't just do it without thinking, unless that's the kind of character you played, but, you know, I remember the story of one character who was playing a, oh, I don't know what it was, some big dumb brick sort of character, and he ended up with a wish from something, and his wish was sky pink. He wanted to make the sky pink, that was his wish. And he got it. So to him, the sky was always pink. He got in a lot of fights because people would say the sky was blue. He'd insist it was pink. But other stories of, you know, wishes and stuff going wrong or you get the, the wrong artifact or cursed magical weapon or whatever. Things got going like you planned. That was part of the experience, I think. It was, it's like playing a, one of those roguelike, the old style net hack and such. Really difficult roguelikes. Some of the new ones sort of have that. I don't think it's the same degree, but you know, some choices lead to your death instantly as soon as you start the game. That's just how it goes. Yeah, I, I mean, you know, like, there's still a little bit like the, uh, stuff from, hold on, I gotta think, there we go, uh, Abbott, Mark of Death, that has his hand of evil, I mean, there is still, in some ways, a little bit of that, but it's, there's not much downside just means that if you're going to equip that stuff, you know you're not going to be good. And then you're done. I don't like that they also got rid of the uh, class and race alignment or uh, restrictions for gear. I really thought that added a lot of flavor to the game. Hey, if you want that bad enough, you'll... TR into something that can use it. Sorry. Or you have a high enough UMD that it can bypass it. Hey, flawless green dragon scale. That'll work. So, yeah. I mean, I, I think that's part of the game that's missing that I know was, at least was partially there. At times. But, you know, that's also part of the nature of the min-maxing subset, or munchkin subset of the crowd, or anything that's ever detrimental they don't want. I, you know, I understand that. That's why a lot of that stuff that it has, it does have that stuff, I don't use. Um, I just stay away from it. But that's a conscious choice that I'm making to sacrifice that bit of power I could get to not have the hassle of dealing with whatever it is that was 
the negative. And I'm fine with that. I imagine some of the people who are really into permadeath, for example, would love some of that stuff back. Like the true Wheel of Fortune, where one of the options is you die. That's it. That's one of the options. <laughs> Use it as your own peril. If you're playing permadeath, it's even more perilous. Everybody else, yeah, okay, we'll res your, yeah. Respawn back at your ship or whatever, but for permadeath, that would be an awesome decision to have to make. We have to role play. And I don't really role play much, but I understand the attraction of having that kind of stuff in there just for that reason. Yeah. Uh, it's part of the attraction, I think, to some people. Not everybody, but some people. Like I said, I just steer around that stuff most of the time, so I know it's there, and I know I'm sacrificing what I could have by not going that route, but I'd rather not deal with the option of that stuff. And I understand, you know, some people can grief with it. And that's what was happening with some of that stuff, probably. I know Potions of Wonder were being used as grief, which annoys me that that happens. But people want to play things their way. Yes, I agree. I completely agree with that. I, I, it was a little abrupt change. I will say that in the defense of some changes to champions, that it was a kind of abrupt that one day it's this way, and one, the next day it's completely different. And okay, I get that that sucks if you were you know, on the edge and stuff, but you know what? I don't play Epic Elite normally anyway. Um, and a lot of us in our static group have been saying for a while, what the heck? Why are we just walking through all these quests that used to be really difficult? Even for TRs, they used to be difficult. Right now, we're just sitting here walking through these quests on Elite. That's not right. Something seems off here. And uh, I don't think Champions was maybe the best way to go about it, but it was a step in the right direction for having not run every run be exactly the same, which, again, like you were saying, goes back to the pen and paper where, you know, even if you did repeat something, nothing would go the same, necessarily. There were so many chances for things to go completely differently. Depend depending on exactly how the DM ran, of course, there was other options too, but that's something that the champions, I think, were a necessary step towards having something more random happen more often in the game. And you can still choose to not have that. Like, I still run an epic normal most of the time. I'm still... Nothing else going on that I want to do. Uh, let's go over to House D and do some black lock then. And the, uh, over there, the, the tower one is. But, um, yeah, it was a pretty abrupt change, and I think that may have been part of it. If they had brought it in about the level it is now, and then slowly ramped it up over a little while, I think it would have gone over better. But there were lots of hard, really hard-hitting champions, and some of them that had buffs that made them pretty tough to kill. All of a sudden showing up in quests one day, and that was pretty rude. Like I said, we enjoyed it. What am I doing? I just said I was going to black lock, and I just naturally went to spies, because I know I want to do spies. <sighs> yeah, I'm, uh, I'm all for that. I think, uh, also on Elite, the bosses should have some random buff as well. Orange name should have something. I'm not saying they should have you know, multiples, but at least something different every time you go. So there's something to work around. I'm not sure if I agree with having their one weakness be the thing they're resistant to. I'm not sure if I go that far all the time. Maybe once in a while. Uh, depends. I know I get 
pretty frustrated in a long quest where all of a sudden you get to the end and oh yeah, well, sorry that person, that mob was normally weak to this is now immune to that. Plus they have all these other, their normal resistance immunities that you mean, there have to be some logic in there so they aren't completely immune to everything, but I wouldn't mind if their immunities switched from here to there. I don't care what they are normally, but hey, you know what? They're a red name. The normal rules don't apply to them anyway, right? They're a boss. That's the whole purpose. So what if it's normally weak to fire and now it's immune to fire? That's fine. Mixes it up a bit. It makes it even more important that people have general DR readers than or the golf club of specific ones. I, I like that. I like having to have those specific things to defeat the specific monsters. Thunderforge is making it too easy. That said, I'm using Thunderforge because it's there, and you know, of course it works to do that, but I do see where it's pretty much the only option at high levels to get through everybody's DR and all that. And I don't like there being one option. I also really, really want to see what the what everybody comes up with when uh, we get the final cap raise. Because I'm imagining something... The idea that I've come up with just, you know, on my own, thinking about it, on how an end-level end raid would go. I don't know if I'd ever run it myself. <laughs> yeah, you know, I never had one, so it was funny. Um, I... I saw those LFMs and such. I never had one, and here I finally have one. And no one cares, because everybody has them now. Everybody has a weapon that'll do enough, or they have enough melee power, or they're in the right destiny, or whatever, to get the enough damage through that no one cares what their actual weapon is. They know it's probably a Thunderforge something or other. I'm not saying I agree with having to link your weapon. I think that's a little going a little overboard in some cases. But I understand the mentality that, you know, you want to make sure people are prepared for what they're going to be facing in the quest. I get that. But as a new player at the time, I was like, what? I don't know what the heck I need to do for that. You can't tell whether the color is paint or rust. This is the dead end, isn't it? Yeah. Worse. So yeah, I really want to get this uh, Thunderforge Tier 2 going. I think I only have Tier 1 and Tier 0 at the moment. I'm spending enough time here at the levels up here that I think it would be good to have a level 26 at least. Not 28 necessarily. Unless I go back to grinding hard seeds for a while, which I may have to at some point. Oh, and this... The most polygons in the game in one spot. Yeah, I mean, the game has grown, just like any game of this type does. I think it's done a fairly good job. I should say that, because people have worked on this, right? So people have done a fairly good job of keeping things going. They 
not have been the steps I would have taken then. You know, I've been doing that, but these people are probably a lot more experienced doing k thing than I do. So. And to a certain extent, it, it's like anything you put out there. You know the way you meant it, but people find ways of doing things their own. They're going to do things you didn't really expect. in software testing for a while. And it's not about finding every bug and getting it fixed. That's not what it's about. It's about finding the major stuff, the really big stuff, getting it fixed, and then the smaller stuff, trying to at least identify it beforehand so fixes can be started before too long. as much as you can in the time you have. I think the public betas are a good thing. I don't participate, but I think they're a good thing. I've been in on several software game betas. I've come to the conclusion that they're just not for me. I don't like having my progress reset ever. I didn't like it when I was playing MUDs. I didn't don't like it back playing other games. And save files, files got corrupted or you switch platforms or anything. I don't really don't enjoy that at all. Which also means, as a corollary, that I don't like working and then not being able to keep my progress. So, why would I do adventuring on a different server? No, I'm going to lose it. My progress at some point. Or it not count towards my main progress, on my main character, on my main server. Just that's why I'm pretty much concentrating on one character now, too. Uh, I liked, first of all, when I started playing, I liked trying out new different classes. And unfortunately, finding out I didn't like Cleric, DDO, which is unfortunate, because that was always my favorite class to play. D&D and, &D and all the computer yeah. role games I played, just loved the balance of healing and fighting with the Cleric. That's also my cleric uses blunt weapons, maces and the like. I don't care if there's no restrictions on those anymore. That was always a restriction. Back when I played, I like that restriction. I keep to it. I don't remember having a particular fondness for a race, maybe a half-elf? I don't really remember, but I'm pretty sure I played Dwarven Clerics too. For some reason in DDO, I just don't like my Cleric that I have. I'm not sure what I don't like besides the fact I can't jump, but it just doesn't play like I thought a Cleric should play. Oh, hello, lag. Thank you very much for that. The 
First time while I fell into the water. But I looked at the ship, sort of, so I guess it's my fault for that. Need to reset up my bar and gear so that Clara can see if I can get it, something going. It's the one I'm leveling with my SO. We don't play very often, so it's going slowly. We're at 15 or 16, I think, now. Once I get that character up, we'll maybe see what I can do to fix it or reincarnate something else. Maybe Paladin or something. Paladin might be more of what I wanted to play. If I thought I wanted to play. Or thought I was going to play playing Cleric, I'm not sure. Yes, I tried Paladin, it didn't work at the time very well. Switched to Barbarian, it worked better. Get off the mast. Cheater. There we go. Alright, I was going to uh, put shield on before the back boss. I did. Well. So like on this character I went through a while of trying to collect some clickies and then getting rid of them because I didn't use them. And recently I got clickies back because there are just a couple utility things that, for example right now, Expeditious Retreat, Shield, having extra jump available, In the lower epics my jump's only 30 something instead of 40, things like that help. Remove fear helps since I don't have heroes me to a farm for a planar gird. And I really want to farm for a Royal Guard mask. At some point, just... Quests for that in farming is uh, not fun. I really don't know how I ended up with a dwarf fighter as my main. Um, still not sure how that actually happened. I wasn't planning on it at all. Just what I ended up being. I don't remember if I just figured, ah, let's try something easy at first. Well, I get the hang of it. Kept going from there, or what? But I like it. I might actually use my plus 20 to go Barbarian before I, uh, ITR or It's an option anyway. Something to think about. So obviously the extra hit points helps on everything. Not that the DCs don't. They ran two of them. I didn't know they were going to run two of them. I might have joined the second one. Oh well. Look at the Who list again. Now there's quite a few people on there. Second there was less. As you enter, you are surprised to hear the clamor of battle and the cries of the wounded. The tower is being attacked from the inside.
spending so many time in this quest. First, granite. Oh, the traps. Not knowing what the heck is going on. Yes, 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 have your speech. Shadow Play also needs a G13 plugin so I can see the status on my little mini monitor here. Thinking about configuring OBS for my personal stream as well. Now, what am I doing? Just running through these guys. Let's see. Look at this one. I want to hang around with these guys. how awful I feel with the jumps today. These jumps are not that hard, but surprisingly I screw them up more than I think I should. It just doesn't seem like they're that hard. Make sure I put your feathers on them. If one of these things had a slot that I could put feather falling in, that would... Alright, that's cool. Wasn't quite ready for that, but I'll take it. I think this is the line I don't need to pull. Yep, it is. Pipe to pipe. That's what I do need to pull. Yep. Here, which works because I need to get over there. Alright, that's good. I didn't actually fall that time, I'm amazed. Oh, uh, did I need to go up? I did need to go up there, didn't I? I forget where to go. I recently put this in my rotation after not having it there. But it's really not a bad quest. It's actually well done and interesting. Nice little behind the scenes area here. You got the whole tower thing. It's interesting, I like it. have rats here. Yeah. Still have some piping because that's what rats do. And of course the whole boss thing is hilarious. getting up into those places where you can't get them. So annoying. Can I get a crown this guy? Come on. Somewhere. Not sure where. 
said you want to do that, but somewhere I can use the bar. Hey. I've already killed these guys a couple times. I forgot. Just barreled past. Cheer at my awesomeness now. Sprung. This time I didn't. And again, shield is handy sometimes when you remember it. These guys, these guys really don't look like the screaming type. to get and stretch after this, I think. My knees are bothering me. gear set before I take on some EH stuff just because of the oh there we go. Whew. Move my coffee table a little bit. My knee stretch. Oh that's better.
course, I'm coming to kill you, don't worry. I forgot about you. Back in evening star. For some reason. That reason being I hit my key accidentally. Now see that's something I can get behind. E H and then E N jungle Kyber. They haven't started yet, and I'm on my way. Actually, it doesn't end up being too long if you hit airship real quick and then... Hey, welcome. My ship came bus. I'm going to start. It always amazes me in this game that given your same level breakdown, so I haven't hero Karkonic reincarnated in this character. It is epics only. So every time you have a reincarnate, you go basically rebuild your character given your same basics. And with just different enhancements, different destinies, different gear, complete completely differently. I mean, still melee fighter, okay, but the actual what you do, what ability you trigger, and stuff can completely change. I love that awesome flexibility in this game. Okay. You're going to be a jerk. Not let me in the quest. That's cool. Oh, there we go. There we go. I don't know what buffs are being given out, but I will definitely go ahead. Buff myself with a couple things. Seems like my cleric's main use is buffing and healing. Not so much actual combat. Or movement, or jumping. I'm just kind of stand there and take it. And hopefully heal. That's odd. I meant to 
Archer P champion, not the guy next to champion. I don't know how that target got switched. Not quite what I wanted. The range of that trap is amazing. Hey, welcome. I'm in progress. I curated. Welcome. In progress.
Powered by Happy Tree, so. What is the point where that cleave doesn't work on the boxes very well? I just get healed for five. Five, really. You've entered a new section of the caves. You've never heard of a beholder serving a drow or anyone else. Shudder to imagine the part in the veil. Remember, kids, always bring a death block item. I really just dropped down there. Come on. I'm not seeing any of them anywhere. Oh, looks like they got them. There's two there. Looks like the third one's over there. Should be it. It's amazing how much you can pick up context without having a way to communicate it in this game. If you know the quest, uh, let's make sure I'm moving fast enough for this. I've heard that the uh, piece of the Sword of Shadows can drop in there. Maybe true, maybe not. I still like checking that chest. Never know when you finally get a good drop out of it. So I haven't seen any champions in this. I'd like to see more, I think. I wouldn't mind seeing an additional difficulty where everything was a champion, that'd be fun.
what threw him in the air if the builder was dead. Don't quite understand that. This great fall is flanked by power and statues from a lost age. They chose a dramatic battleground for her last stand against the inevitable. <laughs> oh, hold on, that eye, you almost there. See, at this point I have a tier 2 and have an extra something on it. It would last me through the next two levels. I'm switching gear around anyway. It just seems like a good idea to go ahead and have one. Ooh. them correctly. I remember what I read correctly. We'll see if they're gonna do something else or oh. yeah. It's like Ian next um, cool with that. Quiver is my best bet, but harder to get. The black heart trolls have made their home in the shadow of these ruined walls. They the other option is something equivalent to what I have, but that has a slot. Which is an option, I guess. Ship 
shifting a little bit helps my knees a bit. I don't know if it's a cold or if there's weather coming or what, but my knees are aching today. Five minutes of haste, so that should last. We're at the end, and I can solo this, so I'm not really worried about anything that happens here. There won't be any champions. level up, yeah. Love that. Wait for a couple other people again here before we start this. Oh. So that doesn't have a slot. I guess I could look at for better eye oh, look, I have the wrong eye on too. Wrong goggles. And I'm still using my green still max. Wow. Should I be playing? Hey Big Jim, how's it going? Haven't seen you on for a while. So be it, light Q lightning and Left on haste should do fine. Yes, spell means keep using mass old monster. That works right here. Of course, whatever works on those guys. Thanks, Big Jim. Uh, 
appreciate that. Yeah, it's kind of a weird time. It's getting towards most people's parties, I'm sure. There's lots of people off tomorrow. sure how many people will be on, but, you know, I had the time, Tessa was asleep, and, uh, figured my, might as well give it a shot. And if not any people are streaming, then hey, less competition, right? <laughs> Appreciate every viewer. And, uh, yeah, anything you want to do to spread the word that, um, online follows are always appreciated, all that stuff. I like streaming on the video stream channel, but it's kind of nice to be on my own. So. Presume that he got the thing. Let's look. <laughs> Two hits. Love it. There's those moments when you feel really powerful and happy with your character. Stuff like that. Two in a red name. future by quite a bit. Thirteen hours. Did you do anything last night, Jim? We went and got some beer and again, she sends the SMS to work at 3 a.m. We didn't really do much. Played some games, sat and chatted, and uh, watched the movies. And other Netflix stuff. That's about it. Now I'm on here. Which I am eager to catch up with some of the stuff I was going to do on here. I get to 27, get my other gear on. Maybe do some of the harder stuff. Oh. Hey, it's Topaz. Oh, it's Proof Against Disease. Not a bad one, but... Oh, somebody. Got him before he's able to do anything. There we go. 